So Brad Zabetis will step in now to the plate for the fourth time today. He is, honestly, he has looked very uh, lifeless at the plate today. A yeah. couple lazy infield flies, infield pop-outs, and a very lazy strikeout we saw in his first at-bat in the first inning. And just like that, he hits a laser, but no problem. Ryan Rush will go down on one knee and snag that one. And when the going's rough, it only gets rougher uh, you know, for Brad Zabetis. You stole the words right out of my mouth. Finally hits the ball hard, but he hits it right at someone. And that's the sign of you being in just a really bad slump as you see him toss the bat back into the dugout when he walks away. Uh, when, when the gu well, like we said, when you're struggling, the hits just are that much harder to come by. So now Kenny Bryant will step to the plate. And he hits one very hard down the right field line, and that's going to come down foul by a couple inches. So Devin Bonofsky will throw it back in. Here's a replay of that Ryan Rush play over at third. So poor Brad Zabetis. Things just not getting better for him. Ball was hit so hard. It's tough for our cameraman to keep up with it going that speed, but good job covering that. And obviously a good play by Rush down at third. So Kenny Bryant had a loud first strike. Still trying to catch our breath up here. It seems every batter coming up swinging fast and hard. And that one is hit deep in the left, set or left field. Sean Wilson's going to reach up on the track and make the play, though. Two outs in the ninth inning. And the sun is still shining light here. Seems like we'd usually be in about the fourth or fifth inning, but instead we have one out to go. Yeah, this is by far one of the fastest moving baseball games I've ever attended in person. I mean, you hear sometimes about these great pitchers' duels. I mean, you wouldn't think a 5-1 game would be this quick, but both pitchers have moved quickly. We've only had two pitching changes, or yeah, two pitching changes for the, the Blue Hose, none for the Panthers, and that just has the recipe for a fast ball game. Ryan, Ru or Ryan Retz just threw his 88th pitch of the game. It was a ball on Brandon Paul. Brandon Paul fouls that one off to the left side, so Ryan Retz looking to close this one out. Another complete game for Panthers pitching, which has been huge for them so far this year on the weekend series. They could use one here tonight, saving that bullpen. Exactly. You know, especially with those games coming up next week, you want to have all fresh arms for your Tuesday and Wednesday games versus Carolina and Elon. And this would be a great way. I know Brett says he doesn't pitch for a strikeout, but this would be a great way for him to cap an amazing performance. And as the scoreboard calls out, finish him. That's what the crowd would love to see right now. Ryan Rett delivers, and it's a ball outside. So the count goes to 2-2-2 two, two, and two here in the top of the ninth. So an absolutely fantastic game for Ryan Retz up to this point. He's only a strike away from finishing this game out. Another ball high there, so the count full. The last batter of the game giving a little bit of fight. Brandon Paul at the plate trying to extend this game a little bit longer, have perhaps a miracle to come back against Ryan Retz. And Retz can't find the strike zone there. Uh, the crowd calling out to David Speaks behind the plate. Come on, that was close <laughs> enough the way he's pitched tonight, so he'll have to face one more out of the stretch. Two outs and uh, two out walk. And you know, it's not ball. like Kozak's really pushing him just to get this complete game. Like you said, he's only had about 92 pitches. So <laughs> just, just the incredible pitching, and he's done it on a very low pitch count. Got to wonder if he'll be, you know, well enough to play right field tomorrow. And there's a good pitch. I mean, you know he'll be out there anyway, but it just makes it a little easier for Cozart yeah. to uh, send him out there. He'll either be at right field or first base, it seems, or in the DH spot. You'll see him at the day after. But he could even play right th with the uh, the amount of effort he's had to put in tonight. And he's ahead 0-2 now, so we'll see if he can finish off Swab here after allowing a walk in the, in the top of the ninth. Panthers then getting their money's worth today. Free burritos and a great ball game. And they didn't have to pay a dime. <laughs> they didn't even have to stay for two hours, it would seem. <laughs> didn't have to give up their Friday night, that's for sure. <laughs> Plenty of time for the baseball team to all gather and have a good time. And there it is. Ryan Retz gets a complete game. A three hitter, one run. Only allowed by Ryan Retz. An absolutely fabulous game pitched by him. 
So the infielder come in and all chest bump, the outfielder all chest bump, and everyone will give a high five to Ryan Retz, the, the player of tonight in tonight's game. Great game by Ryan Retz. Just a great game. I mean, you, you, last couple innings, you saw some great defensive plays, not just by the Panthers, but by the Presbyterian as well. You saw that great play by Chong down the left field line. Both teams clearly wanted this game. High Point just executed a little better offensively tonight. One of the better defensive games you'll ever see on Hoyo Willard Stadium on both halves of the field. Uh, High Point had a great job, and you know what? It's time for the traditional Panther pass. They're all going to go out there, say hi to some former teammates, say hi to all their fans, and thank you. Thanks to all them. Thanks to all of you that listened tonight. So we had you. you Came and saw a great game, and you, you only had to wait. You only had to watch for about an hour and 47 minutes, since that's the official time on today's ball game. So you see them all going out. They're excited because they've got the whole night ahead of them now, and didn't really take much out of them. We'll once, see once if again, we get a one good of the look. fastest. You said one of the best defensive games, and one of the fastest games you'll ever see as well. One of the best defensive games, one of the fastest games. You just see all the the High Point Panthers out there throwing up some high fives. There's Willie Medina passing by the camera out there. <laughs> Everyone flying by quickly now. 